Hey you guys, how's it going? We got another one for you. A classic. Game number eight. Sonic the Hedgehog. So let's go ahead and just get it started. I'm not going to do the uh, code to, to get to the you know level skip or anything like that. We're just going to go ahead and start it. And... Um, and just play a little bit of it, play a little bit of it real quick, and um, see if it's worthy to be on the Sega Genesis Mini. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys already know um, where I stand with this game. Because most people would agree that this does belong on the Sega Genesis Mini. Now see the thing that's always this always confused me about Sonic is Are you supposed to go fast or are you supposed to go slow? Like what you know what I mean? Like what is Sonic? You know what I mean? Like if I'm going fast like this, I'm not even really playing the game at this point. I'm not playing the game right now. My hands are actually off the controls. But now I'm playing the game, but he's not actually being Sonic. You know what I mean? He's just going slow. And that's not what Sonic is about, right? Sonic's not about going slow, so I don't know. That that always confused me. We got little rings here. I like always like that ring animation when he pops through it. I think this is a bonus level. Wow, I went back to the beginning. Yeah, let's reverse that. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want it to reverse the other way. Okay, that works. See, the, uh, the whole objective, you want to get that Chaos Emerald right there. But you don't want to hit the goal before you do that. There we go, got it. I've always liked how when you hit the animals or hit the uh, robots that the animals come out of them, they're like trapped inside of these robots. So they're your friends, but Ro Dr. Robotnik, now called Dr. Eggman, um, is making them evil. I always love that idea. And I just like the innocent, vibrant, happy world of, of uh, Sonic. The first, the first couple of games, they, they've had a couple of darker um, theme levels, but and they've always had cities and stuff like that. But I just, I don't know, I just like the light-hearted uh, nature of Sonic. When you get into other games, other Sonic games, they start getting kind of weird, kind of dark, um, just real, with real people, and it's just kind, kind of that's that's where Sonic kind of got away from me. But yeah, this right here, this is this is classic Sonic, man. So it it does no wrong. See, like parts like this, man. You're going really slow, so it's like I guess Sonic. Why can't Sonic be both, right? Slow and fast, a platformer and just a a game to just burn through real quick in some parts like that. So in Sonic 1 you have three levels per or three acts per level. And in Sonic 2 and I don't know if further beyond that, but in Sonic 2 specifically, you would have um only two acts per level. Let's just uh try to just get out of here. We're not gonna try to get this chaos removed with our limited time. Let's just try to see as many levels as we can, which will probably be just a second level.
But yeah, Sonic 2, man, is just, just more of the same, but it's way improved. Better controls, better graphics. Uh, Sonic is a little bit better looking. He has Tails with him now, which is cool. I'm not, I'm still not sure exactly what Tails, you know, really does for him, but is a cool. He's a cool little novelty. He's kind of like Rob from the from the NES. You don't really need him, but he's kind of nice to nice to have around. And right here we've got the boss, Doctor Robotnik. I've always liked the music these bosses have. Uh oh, hit. You gotta get some of these rings back, so. Let's jump over that one, and then. Boom, hit him like that. Get a little rhythm going. That should be it. Look up at him real quick, me mug him. Alright. Gotta set these animals free. It's all the little bunnies and birds trapped by Dr. Robotnik so he can make them into more robots. I, I like that concept, man. That's a really neat idea for back in 1991. Whenever this came out, I think it was 91. No, oh, I don't like this level too much. I like the uh, Sonic 2's uh, second level, which was the, the city at night. I forgot the name of it, but... Yeah, this one is like, eh. But this, I still have fond memories for it. Even though it's not my favorite level, I still like it. Yeah, this is another level that's kind of slow. I remember the first time I played this game, um, I already had a Sega Genesis. Whoa, and, um,. But it was a little early, it was a little before Sonic came out. My, my Sega Genesis came with um, Altered Beast. And I got a coupon, since like Sonic was like right around the corner, I had a coupon for a free Sonic the Hedgehog game. And it was a, like a mail-in thing, so I mailed it in, and we were moving at the time, so, so I was like, okay, well... I gotta give him an address that you know is definitely gonna go to. So I mailed it off. I I I, I gave the address to my of my uncle's house, and he had a Sega Genesis. He's actually the one that introduced me to the Sega Genesis. And the first game I played was one of the first games I played was uh, Revenge of Shinobi. And um, so anyway, the first time I played Sonic, I was over at my friend um, Donnie's house because I'll probably say a few months or. Six months after I got a Sega Genesis, he got one, and by then Sonic was a pack-in title for the for the system. So, so um, I just sat at his house, man. I was like, I didn't even care about him. I was just like, man, I gotta play this Sonic. Man, I just sat there and played Sonic all day in his room to the point to where his dad was like, or stepdad was like, like uh. Hey, man, you, you got to get off the game, man. I mean, I didn't have to go home, but he said something to the to the effect of, uh, and I wasn't tearing his game up or anything. I was just playing it like normal, but he was just like, when people, other people come in and play your things, they don't appreciate it. They don't take care of it like you would or something like that. It was really weird, man, how he worded it, but. Basically, he was saying that he didn't trust me, and he believed that I was going to tear his game up for some reason. And, and you know, I was a little kid, you know what I mean? It was it was bad manners of me to, you know, just sit there and just play his game all day. He wasn't even, he at some point, he just went downstairs, and I think he was done with me being there, maybe. And um, But I was just so, you know, amazed by this game. That I just didn't care. I didn't really. I actually didn't realize. But as soon as he told me to get off, I got off the game. It was no issue. Um, but that guy, that guy was like crackhead anyway or something. I don't know. So screw that guy. Who cares? He wasn't his real dad anyway.
But yeah, that was my first time playing Sonic, man. I, I forgot how far I got, but I love the game, man. I just love the style of it. I love the music. I love the concept of the, you know, the uh, the animals. I never even heard of Sonic before that. And then he just, one day just had it. And then, uh, shortly after that, though, um, I got it in the mail, or I was over at my uncle's house one day, and he was like, hey, Jari, look what I got for you. And he showed me the uh, the Sonic game, he gave it to me, and it was already all beat up. I don't know if it was from the mail or because he played the mess out of it, but I'm assuming he played the mess out of it, and I don't blame him. Because I played the mess out of it too. I actually still have that cartridge. That same one it has on the uh, on the, the cover. It says not for resale. But yeah, Sonic was the big thing to kill Mario, or to not kill Mario. He didn't definitely didn't do that, but he was the big thing that was to compete with Mario. Because before Sonic, Sega had Alex Kidd, and I believe Alex Kidd was a monkey or something like that. And he was on the Sega Master System, but um, he just never really had that that popularity that that Mario had and I think um, Sega needed a mascot um, I was supposed to yeah do that Sega needed a mascot that could really compete with Mario and Sonic was the closest thing they've ever had to it he still never beat Mario not even by a long shot but he's still a good character he's had a lot of cartoons he has a movie coming out the movie does not look great, but... Oh, wait. I can just go here. What am I doing? Ah. But Sonic is still relevant. What is it, like 20 years later or something like that? Over that? 30 years later? I don't know. But, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Pretty cool. Oh, shoot. I always liked how Sonic has a little Blanca curl up animation when he ducks. And then, uh, you know, he looks up and the screen actually goes up. That was always cool. This levels always have some weird little uh, hit or not hit boxes, but little collision issues. Like just certain blocks or whatever, just kind of he gets like a weird animation on him, like he's about to fall through or something like that. Every once in a while, maybe it's the whole game, but I just specifically remember this level in particular having those issues. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I was about to say, I messed up. Oh, man. Right into him. That was stupid. Wow, all the way to the beginning, huh? The best thing that's ever happened in current generation games is checkpoints. Now, look, I'm getting sloppy. I'm just losing all my patience. Oh shoot. I'm glad he had the little invincibility when it after he got hit. Oh man. Oh man, that was a little setup right there. That was nice. Alright. I got lucky there. Okay, how do I do this? That wasn't very smart. Uh, what? Okay. See, like that. He's not on the edge of anything, but he's still acting like he's about to fall. Okay, so how do I, how do I, what? Oh boy. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I just, uh, wait a minute. Alright, I guess I just go up here. Nope. Okay. Oh, I got you. Alright. Follow the lower one. And then, there we go. Alright, got my little protective coins. I mean, rings. That's nice being able to look up like that. And it's like you want to hit all the enemies because you want to save your friends and let them out. Because they're trapped inside the, the robot bodies. You know, they're in there crying because they don't want to hurt Sonic. They don't want to do the bad things that they're doing. But you can't save them all. That's why you got to beat the game and then they all get free. I miss that about Sonic. It's not like that anymore. I, I don't know what Sonic is about anymore. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old, man. Sonic is different now. It's for a different generation. It means different things. Oh man, that. And watch, did they put me at. Oh, game over. Oh man, I didn't even pass the second level. Alright, well, it is time anyway, so. Yeah, man, this is a really good game. This is a classic of classics right here. And, um. 
it is definitely worthy of being on the Sega Genesis Mini and every other compilation uh, set out there uh, in the future for the Sega Genesis. So with that said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time in the next video.